When you picture something, do you actually see it? Not everybody does. Some minds are blank by default. That's called aphantasia. And it is a brain variation where mental images just don't exist. I'm a brain scientist. And in 30 seconds, I'm gonna run you through the fastest aphantasia test on the internet. But first, what causes this? About one in 4% of people experience aphantasia and it's totally normal. For most people, when you imagine an apple on a table, a feedback loop fires between your prefrontal cortex in the front of your brain and your visual cortex in the back of your brain. This is kind of like a rehearsal for seeing. But if you got aphantasia, brain scans show that there are less activations in the visual cortex and this feedback loop isn't as powerful. Instead, more conceptual hubs take over like the anterior temporal lobe. So you know what an apple is, but you don't paint it in your mental canvas, meaning a neurotypical imaginer closes their eyes and smiles and they describe the apple's shine. But someone with aphantasia shrugs, sees darkness, but can still list facts like round, green, and crunchy. This can be a superpower for disturbing mental images. Horror movies and trauma stay on the screen and not in your head. All right, here's the test. Close your eyes. Imagine a sunrise over the ocean. The waves glow orange as it crests over the top of the water. On a scale from zero, which is pitch black, to five being as vivid as real life, where are we at? If you're a zero or one, welcome to the Aphantasia Club. If you're between two and five, you're in the average or maybe even hyper vivid territory. Share this with a friend who thinks they have Aphantasia. Hit the follow button for more brain tests. Next up, we're doing why some people can taste words.